Madoff and McAllister, one of the deep men, along with Robert Williams. We're underway. And they kicked it out of bounds. Maybe they changed their mind. <laughs> it looked like they Wisely. did <laughs> Here comes the blitz. Miller delivers, got it complete, and that's Hurd, and he'll have the Ole Miss first down. There was a flag at the line of scrimmage. See him creeping up in the secondary. Great call right over the middle. Not going to be enough for the first down. L.J. Taylor, the senior out of Clewiston, Florida, makes the catch. King's kick, wobbly spiral. Carter going to make the catch. And no fair catch and a stop just across the 15-yard line. Luke in at wide receiver, number 84. One of the four wide receivers on third down and six. Watch, drills it, has it complete. Makes a good move, clean up field, and it's Antonio Carter for the Alabama first down. Good for a gain of 10. This time from the shotgun, and they give it to Galloway. Well, he keeps it. And Watts goes down at the 35-yard line. Kind of an awkward step as he made the cut. And in fact, he hurt himself. Watts is going to take himself out of the ball game. Deuce McAllister back deep. Light pressure and a high good coverage kick. McAllister signals for the bear catch and he'll make it at the 25. And that's how you punt to him right there. Very high and make sure you got covered. That's a good win for them coming off the Texas game. Yes. Playing that well against K-State. Second down and nine. Miller sets in the pocket and he's hit again. And that ball is intercepted. Marcus Spencer, the senior out of York, is Victor Ellis made the hit on Miller. By the way, we'll get we'll get a report on that watch in just a moment. And also on the pass, there's this pass is going to be picked off. And that's number 24, Ken Lucas, the senior out of Cleveland. Antonio's dropped off to around the 50-yard line. As Kane waits, it's the pass, and it's a the hanging spiral. No fair catch is called for, and he's tackled immediately, and they were within the halo. It's going to be a five-yard penalty against Ole Miss. He is limping off, and we just saw the replay again, and it does not look good. Quick pass, complete to Carter, and he is knocked down immediately by uh, Ken Lucas. And we'll find out. We'll let you know just as soon as we get the information. Galloway turns it up the hill. Has five, has ten, and he's off. Finally hit by Senator Taylor and knocked out of bounds. It's good for 17 yards. Deepest penetration of the night by Alabama. Zao, play action, throws this one complete at the 10-yard line to Carter. 13 yards. And he heard that and moved. Very happy. Third down and goal. Zao, quarterback draw. Hit and tackled at the three-yard line. And he splits it. So Alabama gets on the scoreboard first. Four minutes, 34 seconds left to play in this opening quarter. And it's the Crimson Tide three and Ole Miss nothing. One interception. One interception, and uh, he is being blitzed, though. It's not all his fault. Not getting any protection. Wheels this pass. Has it complete to Ziegler, the tight end. Third down and six. You need to take it up to the 42-yard line as Miller, right over the middle, it goes tipped right out. It's intercepted, and that's Tony Dixon. Second interception by Alabama tonight. Playing a little bit too excited right now. Romero Miller, David Cutcliffe really has to settle in down. Ball is fumbled. The scramble for it, and Ole Miss says they have it, but the officials, yes, the officials say Ole Miss ball, and that's Kevin Thomas. Third putt by Reagan King. Antonio Carter, the deep man, and he kicks this one for the far sideline. And did he get it? Nope, it's going to go into the end zone. 39 yards and a kick. Crimson Tide will get it at their own 20-yard line. On third down, Zao, good protection, drills the ball, has it complete to Collins, and that is going to be enough for the first down. Gain of 12. First and 10, Zao rolls the pocket, now lines this one, got a man wide open, it's Carter, and he stepped out of bounds. Let's see where they're going to mark him out. The official has put a foot down at the 32, and it's good for a gain of 13.
35 yards. They made an announcement here at the stadium that Texas Tech was ahead 28 to nothing. You looked at the game, you spent that doesn't start have started six. yet. That's <laughs> that was the Tech fan. I have a feeling. Myrie puts a head down close to the first down and third down and short. Myrie behind the blocking on the left side breaks one, two, and on the third tackle, finally pushed out of bounds by Kevin Thomas, but it's enough for the Crimson Tide first down. That's light in inside in that kind of big traffic. They fake the pitch. Zhao didn't throw the pass to Carter. Going to run it. 20-15. Gets a block, and he's flipped down at the 11-yard line. Back to live action. Well, McClintock looked as though he wanted the football, but there were flags down everywhere. Ole Miss fell behind last year. Said that it was too big a mountain for him to climb. Hardy has one from 20 tonight. Good pass, and he knocks this one home right down the middle. So with nine minutes, 52 seconds left until halftime, our new score is Alabama 6 and Ole Miss nothing. There's nobody on the inside receiver at, at Ole Miss. At the top of the screen, you're right, and there he is. That's Taylor who has eight receptions in the last two ball game. You see those linebackers creeping up, and here they come. The quick pass in the middle screen of Rayford. And Rayford will have it at the 38-yard line, third down and short. Play action, and the pass got it complete to the fullback Stackhouse, and he spins off the tackler. We'll pick up a couple of extra yards. They're going to take it all the way to the 24-and-a-half-yard line. They're showing blitz, and here they come. They have to hurry, and he throws it a little high, but it's complete. This is gone, and he's loose. 15, 10, 5, touchdown Ole Miss, 34 yards, and they caught him. Got a perfect call. Zhao's going to have to hurry. He just got it off. Galloway back in the lineup at tailback, and he'll take it for five, maybe six yards. Jesse Mitchell hanging on to him. They're going to pile him up. You may be right. Shotgun formation. Drills it. Missed the first down. It's Arvin Richard. Breaks off the tackle. Breaks another tackle. About to go under four minutes left until halftime. Galloway puts the big head down, and he's going to have five. 10 counted off at 11 yards. Kevin Thomas making the tackle for Ole Miss. Short drop by out, throws to Fade. Just inside the 15 yard line, it's Derrick Woods. Second and eight, this time from the shotgun. And the quick screen out of the flat. A lot of running room, and James will be tackled at the two yard line. First and goal, Crimson Tide. Over the top, Galloway, touchdown, Alabama. You gotta go for two. They roll it that way to the open side. And complete, and that is McAdley. Jason McAdley, the junior out of Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Alabama coming after it. Good driving spiral. And Carter will take it at the 27. Great coverage downfield by Williams. Robert Williams, the reserve tailback, was right there and wrecked him up immediately. Good look at uh, Romero on the other side of the field. Zhao, all the time in the world. Wide open and he drills Carter. Whoa, that could be huge because there's still the clock runs. Hogan with the shotgun snap. Zal is at all the time in the world. The far side line tipped away and almost intercepted. They're going to call pass interference on Coleman. And the new line of scrimmage is just outside the 23. Zal got Carter. Roll by bounds close to the 10-yard line. Zal has time to have no, uh, no just, pressure. Uh, you know, a little snack back there. That time to put pressure at the middle. It's complete to make and they're going to say that he made it to around the two-yard line. That's a quarterback sneak, and he scores. You know, the running shoot people used to run a play where nobody blocked, and the center would center the ball to the quarterback. 
Folks that joined us late, Tyler Watt started, tore his ACL, he is gone for the season. And now here's Romero Miller. They throw the screen to Gunn. Gets one block, and it's going to be knocked down around the 37 by Ellison, Kenny Smith. Miller throws this one complete to Taylor, and Taylor will be stopped. Uh, yeah, he will have enough for the first down. Victor Ellis again. So nothing to do here but take the snap and go down on the knee, and you can see the safety position that Omens lines up in, and that's exactly what Miller will do. We are at halftime in Tuscaloosa, and the home folks are standing and cheering as you watch Deuce McAllister limp to the bench. Our score at halftime, Alabama 21, Ole Miss 7. Now with Sports Center in game. Brian Kenny with the Buick halftime report. Look at this. Averaging 123.8 tonight, 186. Zao pressure on him, and he's going to be sacked. Elam. Shane Elam, a senior out of Covington, Tennessee. Bearden, the punter. And they almost blocked it. Now it takes a big Alabama roll and it's going to go inside the 40-yard line. And maybe that's what the coaches were talking about. He was only in there to fair catch. Yeah, I think so. Got it complete. Not enough for the first down. At the 47 is Grant Hurd. Third down and six. Ole Miss down by 14. Ten and a half minutes to go, third quarter. Right over the middle, got this one complete. He was tied in, and did Ziegler have enough for the first down? Alabama's got 11 men, literally, in the box. Straight over the top, Joe Gunn. First down on this. There is a flag down. That's got to be offside on Alabama. Gunn now back in the tailback. Second down and 10. Miller. Inside the 30-yard line is L.J. Taylor. They give it to McAllister, and he hurdles over the top. And he was limping. What yeah. a thoroughbred. I mean, this kid, what a competitor. He wants to play in yep. this game. See, off the corner, here comes the blitz. Quick read right over the middle. Nice job on Bird. He was wrapped up by Milo Lewis. And it's blocked. Picked up, it's blocked by Ellis. Cat Bailey will take it all the way back. Victor Ellis blocked the field goal. Robert Williams. Miller. Ooh, did he take a shot right at the 40 yard line? It's Marvin Constant and uh, Albert Means also. Miller. Too high over the middle, intercepted. This is Reggie Miles. And Miller will make the tackle around the 20 yard line. He said, I didn't really realize what Gene Stallings was doing, and I didn't appreciate him much. And sometimes it's like uh, the basketball coaches. That's complete to Draper. The big tight end, 16 yards. And he's got it. So with 45 seconds left in the third quarter, new score, Alabama 31 and Ole Miss 7. Draw play goes to Gunn, has five, counted off at seven and eight. Tony Dixon, who has been all over the place tonight, will come up to make the tackle for Alabama. Miller, short drop, blocked at the line of scrimmage, right back into the hands of Miller, and now he's going to be tackled for a loss. <laughs> Driving spiral, going to hit at the 30, and now take a big old miss bounce, and uh, will push it down to the 20-yard line. Just a oh. horrible whipping there in uh, Blacksburg, and surely that would have the Syracuse kids as uh, high as can be. Zow. This one wide open is Carter. Cuts back inside. 
Brandon is going to be tackled from behind by Justin Coleman. Second down and eight. As Alabama scrimmages just outside the 18. Galloway at the five and down at the one foot line. Sean Johnson saved a touchdown. Zal said it worked just a moment ago. Let's try it again. He dials the number of Galloway and it rings touchdown. McClintock with an outstanding block, number 30. Eli Manning, the redshirt freshman out of New Orleans, comes into the ball game for Ole Miss. Gunn breaks it outside and is going to be stopped after a gain of about six on the play. David Petfoot told me this summer, even he said, the last thing I want to have, and I'm not going to have a quarterback controversy. Swing pass here. Gunn spins up to the 30-yard line before Gilbert grabs him. Safety comes flying up, breaks that tackle. Constant will make the tackle, but it's Tony Dixon who you could see a body just go flying by. That's what they're doing with their safeties. They're really forcing on what they think is going to be a run play. They're tackling better tonight. They're blocking better. They're catching the football better. I think the open date came at a great time for them. Manning, ball is caught and his fumble picked up by Alabama, and that's Gilbert. Gilbert picked up the fumble. The pressure and the blitzing of Romero Miller in the first quarter really turned the momentum in this one. Richie's pass almost picked up. That's Justin Coleman who almost got himself an interception. Manning has this one complete. That's a nice catch back over the middle by Taylor. Just a tad behind him, and Eli did thread it, though. And not bad to have your older brother as a tutor uh, you know, coming out of the pros. And they talk the same language. Six punt going to be picked up at the 15-yard line by Carter. Very confident of his football team. He's at ease. He talked about job security and all those things, but uh, he said he's got everything in the right perspective. This is Brandon Myrie, the young freshman Brandon out of Myrie Cincinnati that we talked Brandon. about. <laughs> That's a strong lobby. Worth every penny. So complete. There's our friend Draper again, the big tight end. But they all have so much great respect for the Bear and the coaching that they received here in Alabama. Myrie close to the 30-yard line. Might snow like heck, but... Third down and 14, and here's Myrie. Has five, has 10, 15, 20, and he's loose. He will score. 36 yards. Touchdown, Alabama. Drills this one complete just across the 35. You know what they're doing better this year? They're better running the football. The offensive line, uh, Mark Mangino, he's the offensive coordinator. They've got Griffin and they got Works, uh, two different uh, running backs. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the victory. Uh, you bet. You bet. Thank you. Straight ahead with the running play. That is a Sanford. And five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. This one going in the record books as the most points that Mike Bidot's team has ever scored under him as they defeat Ole Miss by a final count of 45 to 7. Well, the voting's complete. Tonight's Visa player of the game is selected by the fans at home on ESPN.com is Andrew Zhao. 18 of 22, 261 yards, one pick, one rushing touchdown. And as we said, 12 straight completions. That's an Alabama record. Yeah, he set the tempo in the second quarter.